outside. Jojo Caramello was looking to find a new addition to her family. One day my husband and I were dropping off some things at Goodwill and we happened to see the Arizona Exotic Bird Rescue. And it was a Sunday, so they were closed, but we poked, you know, we, we looked through the windows and I could not believe what I saw. Nestled in a shopping center, Jojo found the perfect place to find a new family member. The Arizona Exotic Bird Rescue is an organization that devotes their time to rehabilitate and rehome exotic birds. Tyler Odekark, the executive director, says that their newest location is the ideal area. The rescue was established back in 2007. Um, and then up until recently, we actually opened up this outlet here in Tempe. Um, that way the birds can get some more exposure and we can help fund the rescue by getting that exposure and offering the avian supplies, grooming, you know, and all that good stuff that goes along with birds. The rescue operates by using volunteers. John A.G. and his wife, Nikki, heard about the rescue through a news story. After visiting, they both decided to volunteer. Do everything from feeding to cleaning, um, but we try to do a lot of time of interacting with the birds. Um, the birds need a lot of interaction, especially social, and here with there being so many birds, um, not everybody gets a chance. Jojo comes into the rescue to spend time with the birds. She also wants to give back to the rescue in another way. For my son's eighth birthday, we had a birthday party where we invited the entire second grade of his school. We asked for donations of spare change and things that were on the Arizona Exotic Bird Rescue's wish list. If you want to help, We'll take your help. Um, people can put an application in online, they can come into the store. Um, even if you've got an hour, five minutes, ten minutes, come in and say hi to the birds. Um, we're always looking for help. Donations, things like that, that's how we survive. Most of their birds have been seized or surrendered to the rescue. These birds have come from many different circumstances. Savannah was rescued from a breeding situation. When she first arrived, she was difficult to handle. But after being rehabilitated, she now goes to events to raise awareness for the rescue. When it comes to adoptions, the rescue doesn't take a typical approach. The birds have the final decision in where they end up. So we actually came in wanting a small bird, parakeet, cockatiel, but Zoe took to us right away, so it kind of became, all right, Zoe's coming home with us. The rescue highlights the importance of educating people on different types of birds and their needs. Not every bird is going to be the playful you know, joker that you think that they are, like the macaws, they tend to be a little bit more standoffish. Cockatoos are very loud, but very playful. It, they just educate you very well on different things. The selflessness of the people that run the rescue, they are 100% committed to these birds. And these birds also, some of them can live to be 70 years old. So they really need people committed to them. For Arizona Capital Television, this is Miley Rudabush.